Good idea you're getting rid of those. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna make it all nice yeah. and tiny because it's it can't be long now, it can be here so soon. It needs to be, it needs to be. Before we go into anything, right, there's a very pressing issue we need to talk about. Yeah, I, I wondered that. Should I put the windsurfing board up now? What the fuck has the windsurfing board got to do with it? No, well, no, it's not resin for when it comes to the mic comes back in. Just Kev. Don't do that. It's fucking Kev. It's Kev. Okay, I think, we're, I think we might be right, but not now. Not now. We have to discuss it now. It's no, no, important. no, no. We mix up to go home. We really make it all nice What's for him. What's he got to do with that? This is the show. He's been in hospital. Discuss it with him right now. It's going to get blown over, and then we're never going to talk about no, it. No, we can't do it right now. We, Look, we'd be we much better to talk do. about the show or windsurfing before we Wind discuss surfing, that. Windsurfing, windsurfing. Can't you mention about that. stars? We can't just bring him in. Oh, Ken's got and told all our bad no, secrets. I think you're completely someone. wrong. I think you're completely wrong. I think he needs to be as soon as he walks through the door. That's no. the first thing we pull him no, aside. No, and we just no, talk to him about no, it. No, no, this is not the right no, way to go no, about it. it. That's not a I'm not doing this. No, we can't do it. We have to. We can't. I'm gonna. If you're not, I'm gonna. What are you gonna do about that? Well. Exactly. Well, I'll have a go at you afterwards. So? I think we've got to tell him. Can we wait a bit? Because the show, like, it's, it's, it might to be focused. It's his first time back. That's what I mean. He needs to know all the information. He needs to know what's well, after the show. Been away. We'll sit down. How much can spend? No, 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 what we'll do is we'll sit down after the show and then we'll, we'll, we'll sort we'll it out. To discuss what happened. Yeah, yeah, well, we will, we will. It's all cool. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. There's too many points on the good. agenda for... You can't keep going with this. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. No, it's not. I can't. I can't. I'm going to fed up with that. Hey! hey. <laughs> Back. <laughs> what up, man? What's another word for leak? Like leak, leaking? Um, uh, flooding. Um, no, look. Uh, Marty, leaking like documents. Leaking oh, documents. oh, um, oh, right. Um, revealing, revealing, that'll do. Good word. Good word. You always work good with words, won't you? Do you, do you have something to do? Like, no, no, all already. You set up You've already. Got... All right, so you're just gonna sit there then, I guess. Yeah. Think about who, uh, who, who have we got on the show then? Who, who's, who are the guests? Ah, uh, well, you know that um, Nathan. He used to be working with UKIP, but he doesn't do any of that anymore. No, he's not into that anymore at all. He's, he's, he's working with Ron Belitsky's uh, site now. Good. He has like all the skeptic stuff. He honestly is good. All right, who, who's the other guest? Oh, that was that, um, the lad who did the, um, I can't remember his name anymore. He, he was a rock star, he did all that rock star stuff, but he doesn't do that anymore either. He's gone off and done something all about um, Romanians and things. Aliens or something, ghosts what, or... What, Romanians like or aliens? Couldn't really hear him right the time. It was difficult to hear. I'm, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be all right. Okay. Ah, Nathan. Hello. Excellent. Ready for the show? Yeah, all ready to go. Jolly good. How's the new job? Yeah, it's going well. Um, Ron Politsky sends his wishes and asks how you are. Oh, good, good. And good. Um, he asked me to ask you about this job that he's offering you. Oh. And uh, he wants to know if you've accepted it or not, because he is very eager to get you on board. Oh, well, I did kind of say at the time that although I was very nice to him, I wasn't really keen on I've got all too much on my plate by far. I've got to learn windboarding and surfing. I've got to learn, I've got the show, which is very busy, because mixed back, look at good. Could be good. Well, you know, he asked me to ask you to bring him up and let him know, so unless you want me to do it or... You could, you could say no, couldn't you? Well, I could say no, but... Oh, well, yeah, thank you, thank you. That's very good. Cheers. Yeah, that'd be well happy, yeah. Just, just say no. Just say no. Yeah, just say no. Just say no, yeah. Right then. Cool. 
Yeah, right, let's go. Hello and welcome to Right Here, Right Now with me, Mick Riggers. After my brief stint away, it's great to be back in the host's seat. Now, for the news of the month. The accusations of sexual assault against Harvey Weinstein have prompted many more women to speak out. Not just against Harvey Weinstein, but many more in the same industry. Figures such as Rose McGowan, Gwyneth Paltrow, Kate Beckinsale, and many, many more. Pressure is building on Hollywood, as Corey Feldman sets out to expose high-profile paedophiles in a new documentary. It seems that Hollywood is being forced into more transparency. A WhatsApp group message between British MPs has been leaked, revealing female members of Parliament discussing which male MPs to avoid in case of sexual harassment. It seems sexual predators will finally be left with nowhere to hide. Not just the Commons has been hit by scandal this week, as a second House of Lords expenses scandal has emerged. Many peers have been found claiming, despite having not participated in Parliament for a full year. And finally, the JFK files were released on Thursday by an act made in 1992, and not by Donald Trump, no matter what he or Infowars might tell you. Many of the files were held back for further scrutiny, and it is impossible to say if they ever will be released. And now for Watch Out, Kev's About. I'm Kevin DeKlein for Watch Out, Kev's About, for right here, right now. I'm trick and treating today, and I'm going to be asking questions at the door. So here we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, oh. God, that's scary. That's an impressive outfit you've got there. Um, I'd just like to ask you some questions about the JFK files and what you thought about them. Come, come inside. Oh, okay. I have some candy. Oh, lovely. Oh, don't mind if I do. Thank you. And the song of the month is The End of the Machine by Chapel Town. So you're the skeptic? Yeah, and what are you? I'm clearly an expert, you know got my Halloween t-shirt on. I'm totally an expert in all this kind of stuff. Right. Band's done, now it's all about hard, cold facts of the paranormal. So what happened to your band? Well, you know what happens with bands. They're on tour and then they're not on tour. It doesn't matter what happens to the band. It's unnecessary. What happened to you? Stop being a racist. What happened to you, like, you know, conflicting with immigrants all the time? Well, as you know, I left UKIP, joined the Conservative Party. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like it. Jumped there. the wrong ship there, yeah, didn't and you? And then I jumped on, I jumped ship to the um, White Crusaders, and I why did you go? Like, look at the name, White Crusaders. It doesn't sound like. Well, I never knew does. at the time. I thought it was something else. But what did you think it was? Oh, it's cold. When are we going to talk to him about it? Oh, Lord, it's going to be okay. Let's, let's get the show out of the way first. It's all going really well at the moment. So it's just just prolonging it every step. No, we're oh, right there. Okay, let's just, just wait until the end. It's gonna be good. We've got to finish this. We've got to get it finished. I don't know. But tell me, what did you think? Come on, you might tell me what you think it was. I don't know. I just thought it wouldn't be anything too racist. When I too found racist. It was called hey, White guys, Crusaders. Guys, guys, look, save it. Save it for the show. Okay. You know, right, I want this is good stuff. But on on the show when we're recording, no, we'll have a little meeting at the end, right? We'll have a little meeting about it. Let's better speak about. There's still guests here. It's what? It's not to do with the moment, is it? Totally professional. Later, later, later. Later, later. later. Mm. You're letting him steal our cheese.
Hello and welcome back to Right Here, Right Now. That was Chapel Town with the end of the machine. Joining us today for the main discussion is Christiane Wolf. Uh, we'll be discussing the paranormal today, and I have Max Belkin here, a believer, and Nathan Dunn, a skeptic. Now, paranormal uh, belief is something that's uh, quite divisive in a way. Uh, there are people who absolutely, adamantly believe in it. There are those who sit on the fence, and there are those who say absolutely not. There is no such thing as the paranormal. Um, Obviously, science is yet to prove that the paranormal is real or, or, or not real. Um, and we have hundreds and thousands of eyewitness accounts throughout history. So, uh, Max, what, what, what's your perspective? Yeah, totally. Now, all you've got to do is look at, like, Amityville Horror, yeah? Amityville Horror is a clear indication of an infestation of ghosts, yeah? Mm -hmm. And that's, yeah. like, kind of crazy. Now, I know that's, you know... There's a, there's a lot of evidence within that. You've got photos, people, mm -hmm. just loads of stuff. Antibio horror, and you can name like hundreds more. Like that, that's, a, that's a movie and stuff. So, so you're saying like a lot of the, it's based on actual, actual facts. Yeah, and all the sightings that have happened up until now, I can get that, I get yeah, that. Yeah, but the Antibio horror was proved to be a fake. They both made it all up so they could sell the story. Hollywood got hold of it, made it into a film. There we are. Look, the best way to sell one of those sort of, sort of like stories to make people believe that they're true and everything is to have stars. So of course all this will be wrong. But look, there's plenty yeah, of other cases. We You've are got, not like, talking about Hollywood. We are talking about real paranormal. Yeah, and I'm talking about real paranormal cases. Like The Conjuring 2, that was a true story. Bits. There was um, Conjuring 1, that, that had some story elements that were true. The Haunting in Connecticut. The list goes on. That's basically what Max, it is. Max, perhaps if we could move off, off the uh, movies, Max. Uh, tell me, what, what is it that you think the, the paranormal is? What, what is it that you believe in? Well, to me, like, a ghost is basically, like, energy. Like, it just kind of, like, when you die, everything just sort of flows around, and some you, of it becomes living, like living dead zombies. And spirit, some, of it, yeah, some of it, some of it's karma, some of it, yeah, it just kind of it does this nice little flow. And then you get ghosts, and I believe in ghosts. Yeah, but it's... Ghosts have not been proven that they exist. Yeah, you keep coming back to that point, but I tell you, there are loads of cases and films where you see that it is... But going real. back to films again, we are not talking about films. We are I, talking I, about I, paranormal. Now you got me there, that's right. It takes me to an experience that I was telling Christian about earlier. Basically, I went to Romania as part of the tour when I was... Um, when I am, I, when I am a rock star. Was, it, um, um, st still am a rock star. Always a rock star. But anyway, yeah, I was in Romania, yeah? And basically, like, I went to this, um, like, Bermuda Triangle sort of area where everything doesn't grow properly and all the trees right. kind of go in some weird kind of curvy sort of thing. And, like, I followed this little girl down a tree hole. But it was like a little ghost girl, you know? A little girl. Yeah. What is it you mean by a, a, I think it was a tree hole? They kind of, like, grow and bend like that, so it was like a, like a tree hole. Okay. So she went down the tree and hole. And you just... She just appeared out of nowhere, like you yeah, were. Yeah, yeah. All I was doing was I was just having a couple of shrooms. Sure. Went into the woods. Magic mushrooms. Uh, hallucinogenics. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you got to open your mind up a bit, and to help see ghosts, it kind of helps. So, yeah, and also uh, causes hallucinations. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. So, you go to Romania. You take shrooms. You then see a little girl. Who you follow? Yeah, through a hole in a tree. Yeah, because they all bend like that. After that, I got this sixth sense, and now I see like ghosts everywhere. So, I, do you I, have any proof that you that you saw this girl? Well, yeah, you know, I took this photo, and like whilst I was running, I thought I'd take a photo while she was running because you know she's a ghost. Why not? But then, like she, um, well, the, the camera, the, the memory card just like broke. I didn't, the only photo I had, I had to like get rid of. Well, you say convenient, I say bad technology. But anyway, yeah, like afterwards, like I see ghosts all the time now, everywhere. Like I'm sitting in a cafe, 
having a nice little cappuccino, I look over and there's a ghost. Would it be a cafe Down in Amsterdam? Well, yeah, there's a lot of ghosts in Amsterdam and there's a lot of cafes as well. There's a lot of drugs in Amsterdam as well. Uh, so, uh, Nathan, tell me, what, what is it that you believe about the paranormal? What, what do you think, what, how do you explain all these eyewitness accounts? Well, if you take his case, if he's so, so stuck on magic mushrooms, then obviously you'll see whatever you want to see. But um, the real story is with ghosts, they have, they have not been 100% proved that they exist. Yeah. Some things have been double exposures, uh, someone moving very fast, apart past the shop, which we say, oh, that's a ghost, but no, it's just someone walking very fast. What about the fact that legally, in America, there are like places that are completely just legally seen as haunted? Government just goes, you know what, that one, haunted. No questions, that's all you need to know. Well, I can't prove anything, but... Um, that's why you should just use the sound bite. You can't prove anything. Show done. Look, when it comes to you following a little girl, which is no um, it be original thing for you, but, um, you know... When it comes to things like that... Don't get personal, mate. Mr. Racist. And yeah, I might see a lot of ghosts that happen to be like little children. But the problem with that is, is like, if you've seen any horror film, ghosts traditionally tend to be little children. And so I, you yeah, you, you might on. follow them... Oh, yeah, exactly. They ain't moved on. So you follow them and then they disappear and you try to take photos and it doesn't Let work. Let me ask you, know? you a question. So if it was a ghost of a little boy, would you have still followed it? Well... I, I don't think that's really the point because you're mixing like Max Belkin, the, 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 the you know the the nearly charged um, rock star, to the paranormal expert Max Belkin. Yeah, but you I are don't still worry the same person. That. Well, no, no, like I, you know, I went out to the woods and everything, and that guy's gone, and I followed the ghost child, and now I'm a paranormal expert. That's what you got to accept, and that's how it goes. But let's not get personal here, because like. You're Mr. Racist, remember? So let's be careful what we're saying right now and let's focus on the issue of the paranormal and the fact that ghosts are real. I've always been a skeptic of the paranormal. Just by the sides, you know, during daytime. You no, there wasn't. As well. You know, if, if I turn around and say, oh, well, I'm a skeptic or whatever, it, there's, it's no big whatever. You know, but the thing is, like, if you're coming on here blatantly um, saying that you're a, a psychic medium or whatever you are, with no evidence whatsoever, you have a photo of a little girl, surprise, surprise, of, of a little girl of a ghost, you followed the girl down a rabbit hole, uh, down a little hole, which sounds a little bit like Alice in Wonderland, you were high on mushrooms, need I go on? Well, yeah, well, people get in trouble, and that's what happens, and then you get some charges, and charges go away, and it doesn't matter, because I'm not, I'm not a rock star anymore, I'm a, I'm a paranormal expert. Rock star turned ghost hunter. That's the one, and I'm going to, like, get, you know... I'll get a, it'll, it doesn't matter, you're, you're missing the point here, this is like to talk about paranormal, not me and ghost children running around with them, we're well, not running around with them, running after them, running after them, well, so you're running after sounds, children now, ghost children, ghost, ghost children, ghost children. You know? it's just ghost children, but that again, you, you're so, why do tough on drugs? Well, you know, I take a lot of drugs, and I take a lot of drugs right now, I mean, I, I, are you on drugs right now? That's here on there. That's not what's important right now. What's important right now is that there are too many ghosts running around for you to disbelieve that they exist. And that's it. I think that's my final point, that I've made my point. And if we could summarise the whole entire thing right now, ghosts are real. You don't know what you're talking about. You are a racist. You kip racist. You, that's you. And I was never charged. So everything's fine. And I hope everyone has a good time. And happy Halloween and happy Halloween and... We're all good, you know, it just, it just doesn't matter. You just go and do what you do best, play shit music and follow little girls. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for listening in. That was right here, right now, with me, Mick Riggers. It's good to be back. Thank you, Nathan, so much for coming on the show. It, thank you. Thank you for giving me another chance. Oh, absolutely. You know, it's so good to see someone uh, change from doing something so uh, silly to doing something so sensible. So, thank you. Yeah, appreciate that, man. Cheers. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you all very soon. Oh, indeed. Indeed. was a great show. We need oh, to speak fantastic. about Kev. What, what's he done now? He's a rat. He's a fucking rat.
What, 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 he's a rat. He's a rat. He's a rat. What do you mean by a rat? Tell him. Well, you're not like the fluffy type. No, he means what? It's like, like um, he may have been talking to a journalist about like the show and not nice things about not the show. Not about what, the show. What, no, what, no, what, no. What about said? us on the show. What's he yeah. saying? All the shit about the background of the show. All the bad. Not what goes on on set. All the stuff with on the show is Kev. Well, that's the point, actually. But I don't think that's what he's been saying. I think he's been saying it to you. What, and me. Spouting bullshit about it. And you. Yeah. To who, though? What, yeah. Who is this journalist? What's going on? Artie, right, we've had him on the show. Yeah, well, I don't know what he does. He doesn't, he don't work yeah. for the Who is he? I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know. I've, he's, he's just a, a person of influence, but Kev is the one who's going around chatting shit out there to him. Hey, me, I kicked well, him off the fucking show last week. So we 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 like I was a little bit worried, a little bit, just a, little, a tiny bit, a little bit. Tiny bit. Tiny bit. Tiny bit. Tiny bit. Why is this guy trying? I, I've we, never met this guy. Why is he trying to take us down? Uh, it's good seeing you again, Ray. No, it's uh, it's nice to see you as well. So, what what, what what happened on the show? I don't know what you said last week, but those guys have gone paranoid now. There was um, you know, there was a bit of a disagreement. I said some things that I felt needed to be said, but. You know what it's like when they try to put you down. Yeah, they, you but, know. but now they think there's a rat or something. I don't know why they think that. Us. So they think like there's a rat. rat. Yeah, like I don't know. They've just they've just got a bit paranoid. I think. I just think someone's talking about the show behind their back and stuff. And like I don't know. It's gone very weird. Can I ask what what do you think we're we're doing here? Oh, we're just talking to me, mate. We're friends, huh? We're just been chatting. Been giving me information on the show, personal, private, like detailed information on what's going on in your show, like private yeah, information. I thought we were just talking as friends. Okay. For the expo, do you, do you not know what I'm trying? I'm building together an expose about your show. I'm going to take it down. I'm going to reveal it all, all of it, no. every single thing that you have told me. I will be using personally against your show. No. I'll be revealing it all in a giant expose that is no, just no, going no. to turn no, no, your no, no, shit you can't, you can't upside it. You can't do, down. You can't do, you can't do that. You can't do that. You've got to stop it. You've got to stop it. How do we stop it? Please. How do how are we going to... Oh. How? We can't, can't, no, they're going to they're gonna kill me. They're going to they, throw me off the show for sure. No. Best thing that could happen to you. No. They can't do it. Hey my friends, they go, no, please. Do let this out.